Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how we get access to large language models. There are two main routes for accessing large language models. So the first way is to use a proprietary service. So some of you might already be familiar with this, and that is when you use a service like OpenAI's API, or when you use something like Claude 2, for example. What you have there is a model that has been trained in-house by a company, and they give you access to that model via the API. So there's a lot of engineering that goes on behind that API to make the model suitable for your purposes. But you cannot get access to the parameters or the function file or the weights of the model itself. So those are all the same thing, parameters, function files, weights. You can't get access to any of that stuff. That is proprietary to the company that trained that large language model. The second way to get access to large language models is to use the open source platforms that are available to you. And here you can download the weights or the, the actual function. You can get, have those files physically. And sometimes you can even get access to the data used to train that large language model. So those are the two ways in which you can access large language models. Let's talk a little bit about why one would choose to use an open source model or a proprietary model. So there's two things here, really. There's two main reasons why you would choose to go for the open source model over the proprietary model, let's say. 